Hey everybody, it's Anthony Plays the Games with another episode. This one is games I bought recently. I don't know what number it is. But this game was $1. It's EA Sports Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2001. The box is in great shape. It's a complete game. Let me switch the view for, um, The graphics look even better than PlayStation 1. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, and it says right over here, Windows 9895 CD-ROM. Well, I don't have a computer that has that on there, so that kind of sucks. I'll show you guys what's all inside real quick. In the EA Sports little catalog. Um, then you get your, uh, installation guide. Right there is the manual to the game. And then right here is the game. And it's a two disc uh, game that you gotta install, I guess. So, that was Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2001. Paid a dollar for it, so that's pretty cool. <coughs> I'm gonna stick that right there. The next game, let's go to PlayStation 1. The first game, I bought these at uh, GameStop. It's pre-owned for, what, dollar ninety-nine. It's in great shape. Um, a little dusty, but that's NASCAR 2001. You know, I was going to wait to get a case game, but whatever, I'll deal with it. The next game I bought was also another... Uh, pre-owned GameStop game for 99 cents. It's Triple Play Baseball uh, 2001. This game is kind of dirty, but what, what can you expect? Love the baseball games for uh, PlayStation 1. I remember hooking up this multiplayer pack and we had like six created players and we were doing a season. Wow, that was quite a summer. Uh, all right, so we're done with PlayStation 1. Let's go to PlayStation 2. I only got a couple PlayStation 2 things. This is the first thing. Guitar Hero 3 Rock Legends for PlayStation 2. It was two bucks. Um, really don't got a PS2 case, but this will work. The game isn't in bad shape, so that's cool. That was $2. Uh, let me just stick that for right there for now. And I also picked this guitar up uh, the other day for $1. It's a wired, uh, how do you say it? Red Octane. <laughs> so somebody put stickers all over it already. I don't really care. Just so it works, uh, I gotta test it out. I haven't played Rock Band in a couple years, so it'll be weird getting back into it. So that was PlayStation 2. No PS3 games. Let's go to Nintendo. I don't got anything Nintendo. How about Super Nintendo? I get two games for Super Nintendo. The first game right here is Monday Night Football. 50 cents. I had to pick up this bad boy. No case. The game looks great. I mean, there isn't... There isn't like dirt or anything really so it's pretty cool kept clean i don't remember playing this game but i'm sure i did at one time so put that game right over there and the next super nintendo game i bought was this one right here tecmo super bowl this uh it was 650 can't pay too much for it but look what they're charging before 850 um, the game is complete. It has everything inside that you would imagine comes with a brand new game. Let's take a look. Right here you get a super uh, Tecmo instructions. Cool. Then right here you get this uh, poster of all the NFL teams. <clears throat> and it tells you like what's the best thing about that team for this year so let's read one since the giants just won the super bowl 
It says the Giants' offense revolves around passing of the quarterback Phil Simms and the nifty running running of Rodney Hampton. So, yeah, I could keep reading on, but like Dallas Cowboys says, Emmitt Smith is a big play runner who is a threat to go distance every time he touches the ball. And quarterback Troy Aikman, da, 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 yeah. So that's inside here. What else is in here? A game uh, instruction booklet. And it was that video express at one time. That explains the Kool-Aid on here. <clears throat> and also you get this super Nintendo uh, customer information and precautions booklet. Crazy. Also, this was in there. Whoa. You're not going to believe what's inside. Free player's guide. Oh, yeah. Let's see what the guide is all about. Not much. you got to order it. So here's the game finally. It's got Video Express on here. Got the little sleeve or whatever protector thing. The game looks brand new in there also. No Cheetos or pizza. Um, so that's cool. Glad to get a complete uh, Tecmo Super Bowl game for the Super Nintendo. Let's box this bad boy back up. <clears throat> yeah, he was 650. That's. The only downfall about it. I wish I would have found a yard sale uh, in this good, good of shape. So we'll stick this guy over here. Um. <clears throat> okay, so that was Super Nintendo. Let's do a Game Boy Color game. I found this guy for one dollar. It's a Mario Tennis. Let's get Mario on there with. Uh, princess back there with her tennis racket so it's pretty cool if you look at this you can see like a battery right there so but yeah that's mario tennis on game boy color um let's get to n64 the first game i found was 10 cents it was nfl blitz and who doesn't remember this game it was pretty cool for its time Ten cents isn't too bad to pay for a sweet game like this. I have NFL Blitz on PlayStation 1, I think. Uh, or maybe it's a different version. But, uh, yeah, I'm just ripping that off. I'll clean that up later. So that was NFL Blitz. The next game I got was Ready to Rumble Boxing with Michael Buffer, who does the whole, Let's get ready to rumble! This guy was ten cents also. Very cool to add this uh, game to my collection. I'll probably be doing some playthroughs or let's play on that. <clears throat> okay, so, all right, I got Sega to do. Let's get to this. I found this Sega system. Um, I do got the power, but I left it hooked up because I was playing this last night. Uh, came with two controllers. Uh, no big scratches or dents or it's not cracked or anything. Um, it was twelve fifty at a thrift store, so I'm pretty happy with it. Well, not really. I think I'm gonna keep the controllers, wires, just get rid of this thing because I've tried every Sega game I got, well, almost, and none of the like when you press the up direction on the controller any controller got three different controllers for Sega the character doesn't want to go up like say I'll be playing this uh, wrestling game I'll be in a ring and I can't ma move upward like that's really crazy so I'll probably be less than this system on eBay because I want one that works not this broken one for 1250 but uh <clears throat> it isn't really broken, I guess. It works. Every game turns on. Everything works. It's just that you can't move upward. You can go left, right, down, anywhere. So Let's get to two Sega games I picked up recently. This one is uh, 50 cents, and it's NFL Quarterback Club 96 with Steve Young throwing left-handed on the cover. This piece is kind of like not sticking anymore. Wonder how I could fix that. I don't want to rip off the sticker and rip the, <clears throat> you know, 
the game doesn't look as tarnished as uh, some other games I got, so that's good. That was only 50 cents, so very cool. Let's get ready to rumble. Alright, we'll put that right there. And the next the last Sega game I got was, actually there's another Sega game, but anyway, EA Sports, Bill Walsh, College Football. Now, the, this game works, too. The underneath is really good. No pizza, Cheetos, Pepsi, nothing. And it was 50 cents also. Very happy to add another football game to my collection. So, look at that. We got one football, two football, three football, four football, five football games. Jeez. Okay. So, we'll get to another Sega item I'm recently bought and it is for the Sega Dreamcast it's NBA 2k1 bought this bad boy at Goodwill for $1.99 the game is complete has the case <clears throat> like barely any scratches on this bad boy there's Alan Iverson <clears throat> in 2001 he wasn't too bad he was taking the 76ers like in the play deep in the playoffs every year one to four players four times memory card compatible uh let's see if, right there boom that was the best thing about the dreamcast when it came out online multiplayer i don't know if you guys can see that modem keyboard you can use everything for this game so that's my uh sega dreamcast game i picked up and the last consoles game I bought was right here, Fable 2 for the Xbox 360. It's a Platinum Hits. I know it's not one of the first ones, but the game is complete. Pretty cool. I think a little kid owned this, but he did a good job. All I see down there is dust. I haven't played Fable really, so I can't really tell you everything about it. Um, but yeah, I forgot how much I, I think I paid two fifty for this game. Maybe that was too much or something. All right, let's get to the last couple of games I got, guys. And um, they are a couple of handheld devices from back in the day. Let's get to the newest handheld one, which is this one. It's a Wheel of Fortune handheld wheel of fortune game and it has this little cartridge back here check it out clean there ain't no corrosion or anything um and then right here is where you put the batteries it takes four double a's not two but four um, so i wonder if you could put in like a different game's cartridge and have it work <clears throat> but i don't know because all these buttons seem to be assigned to Wheel of Fortune. See, spin, buy, solve, clear, on, off, player, score, puzzle, whatever. So it's made by Tiger. Um, it, it's got to be cleaned up because I found it in like a 50 cent bin. So we'll just put that right there. And the last game I have to show you guys is right here. And it is one of the oldest ones. It's an Electronic Ninja Fighter. By Tiger. Tiger. Uh, it works. I tried it out. There's some scratches right there. And that kind of sucks. But, like, you could throw ninja stars. There's a bomb. There's magic sword kick. Off on. Uh, pause. That's awesome when you're driving. Um, it takes two batteries. I took the batteries out to put into something else. For my other videos on Hot Wheels Boys. <clears throat> my other channel. But yeah, I paid 25 cents for this guy, so I'm very happy. I'm still trying to find Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles one like this. Or, it kind of, it's kind of big like this. You would hold it like that. And then the screen would be up here. So, But yes, that was my games I have bought recently. Um, let me stick this down right there so it gets in the video. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Um... Once again, I'll sell that console, Sega console, on my eBay page. I'll put a link maybe down below. Um, but yeah. 
We'll see you guys in the games. Thank you guys for watching.